What's good, y'all? If you tapped in, you already know who I am. If not, my name is Caleb Jarrell, and I'm just going to start it off, bro. You got to take care of yourself. You can't be out here neglecting yourself and not taking care of what you got going on in your life. We all get to a point where certain people may come into our life or we pick up certain responsibilities and different things like that, whether it be through a job shift, whether it be through a relationship, whether it be through you having kids or anything like that. It's like you pick up these responsibilities and you don't make time for yourself. So what that does is that causes you to neglect yourself and you stop working on yourself physically, spiritually, mentally, sometimes financially, different things like that. And it kind of leave you with a void. So what you need to do or what I would recommend and what I do is make sure I take time for myself. Sometimes I get away from everybody and just do certain things on my own because it's important to fill my cup back up. It's important to recharge my battery before I actually give what I have to offer to anybody else, you feel me? Now, granted, if you got kids or you got other responsibilities as far as people relying on you, of course you have to make them a priority, but in that priority, you have to put yourself in that. So I feel like a lot of people get caught up in the first, second, third type of priority to where it's like a list instead of caught up in like your priorities, your main priorities, and then everything else follows around it. So it's like a circle instead of a line. So if you think of it like a circle, it's basically your priorities are important, but there's priorities that may be a little bit more important. So you have to allow things to revolve around those priorities. You feel me? So that way everything is getting attention and the attention that it needs. You feel me? So I said that to say, bro, I see it like around me and sometimes I fall into it too. It's like you so caught up in giving to everybody else that you don't give to yourself. You don't focus on yourself. You don't strive to improve and be better but you don't overall like even take care of yourself you don't spend time with yourself and a lot of people problem is a lot of y'all don't know how to be alone a lot of y'all don't know how to be in your own presence and feel comfortable i remember when i first started on my journey of like just being alone as far as like not having people around me it kind of felt weird in the beginning but it's because I'm thinking about all the goofy stuff. Like, it probably looked weird with me being at this game by myself. Or it probably looked weird with me out eating by myself or going to the movies by myself. But the more that I did it, bro, the more like peaceful I felt with myself. The more secure I felt in myself. Now, I go out by myself, whether it be a movie, whether it be eating by myself, whether it be a game, different things like that. And I don't feel the need to have people around me. And once you get to that point, it becomes dangerous in a way. I feel like it's a positive dangerous, though, because you're in a mindset of really where you don't care about what other people think. But you're also in a mindset in a place where you're so secure in yourself. You don't need people around you to feel validated. You don't need people around you to feel good about yourself or to feel some type of way. No, that doesn't mean like when there's positive people that I like to kick it with or hang out with that. I won't invite them or they won't invite me to different things, but it's like when you get away from feeling the need to have all these people around you, it's like it's so much better because you don't rely on nobody else's energy. You rely on your own energy, you feel me? And just from my experience, bro, becoming that type of person and becoming somebody that I actually work on myself, I attract so many people to me now. Whether it be people that come in business, whether it be people that are coming like for advice, different things like that. Or some people that's just like physically attracted to me or attracted to my mindset type of thing. And when you get to that point, bro, you have to protect your energy. You have to protect the people that you allow yourself to get around because not everybody and not everything is supposed to be around you. You're not supposed to be exposed to everything. You don't need to be exposed to everything because certain energy can throw you off your game. Certain energy can be a distraction for you. You feel me? And what comes with distraction is you not being locked in on what it is that you need to do. What comes with distraction is like 
your focus not being where it needs to be or you not even going hard and buckling down like you want to do in your life, you feel me? So that's one way you know you like you on track with becoming a better person or you on track with improving and self-improving and different things is because all of a sudden people will start being attracted to you, whether it be females, whether it be males, whether it be business partners, different things like this. And I'm not even saying none of that in like a goofy way, but it's just like people are attracted to energy. People are attracted to positive energy and different things like that. If you're a negative person, people are not going to really want to be around you. But when you're a positive person and people see that you're motivated, people see that you're consistent, people see that you say it, people see that you do what you say you're going to do and you stand on that, it attracts certain people to you. You feel me? And... That's why you have to put yourself first, not because of you wanting people around you or you needing people around you, but because it's weird, but it plays like that, not only in the physical, but like business wise, different things like that. So if you're a business person, me personally, I have my own business. So therefore, that's a great thing for me. That's why I feel like I work on myself the way that I do because I attract people to me. So with me attracting people and not chasing people, it attracts me more money. It attracts me more business. It attracts word of mouth, you feel me? For my business, I don't promote as much as I did when I first started. Now, I'm not saying that I don't or I won't, but it's like, I feel like when I first started, I was a little bit more on the side of chasing instead of attracting. And I know it sounds sound cliche, but it's like, once you put the work in on you, whether it be your skill, whether it be your finances, different things like that, whether it be your style, your hygiene, different things like that, people recognize and you start to kind of stand out because you don't do things like everybody else. You do things like everybody else, you get results like everybody else. You feel me? So you got to do things to stand out, but do it on your own terms. Do it the way that you want to do it. So. Yes, you should be working out. Yes, you should be getting your hair cut. Yes, you, yes, you should be tapped in on what it is that you got going. You feel me? And be focused on that. But I say all that to say, bro, putting yourself is gonna put you in a position to where you have more clarity on what you need to be doing with your life, and you'll be more locked in. But also, you can discern and recognize people that would be a waste of time. Or people that actually would be positive in your life. And you want to be positive for somebody else's life too. You want to give what you have to offer. You want to make sure you give quality and value to the people that's around you. Whether it be a relationship or anything like that or business-wise overall. So what does personally looking at yourself and looking in the mirror do for you? Are you pleased with the person that you see? Are you pleased with how you are and your character and different things like that? And if not, you have the idea and you have the opportunity to work on yourself every day. You have the opportunity to correct certain things that you don't like by putting the work in. You can't do it expecting people to hand you certain things, you feel me? When I first started cutting hair, I was cutting my own hair, but by me being consistent and by me working on myself, working on putting muscle on different things like that, I started to attract people not only to me, but to my business, you feel me? So over the course of time of me being consistent, I started to get better. My skills start to get better. My confidence starts to get better. So if you apply that same thing to your life in every area, do you think you're not going to grow and increase in certain things? If you do 100 to 200 push-ups a day, you don't think your chest is going to get bigger? If you add a minimum of $40 a week to your bank account, you don't think that your savings account is going to get bigger? You don't think that it's going to grow? You feel me? So... I say it all the time, bro. I preach it. I feel like this really probably one of my mottos, if you say anything, is, bro, anything that you want to grow, you got to feed it. So you can't neglect yourself. If you want to grow as a person, if you want to grow as a man, you have to put work in. You have to be intentional with working on yourself. And with you doing that, everything else that you want and desire, you have more clarity on it and also how to achieve it, how to attract it, you feel me? So... That's what come with working on yourself. That's what come with putting yourself first. 
you're going to always be in a position to where you have the opportunity to do better and be better. And you might not get it right the first time. You might make certain mistakes. You might mess up some stuff. But at the same time, bro, you have to learn from those mistakes. You have to learn from the people around you and what are they doing. You have to apply yourself and put the work in and be focused on what it is that you want to do as a man. You feel me? Another part of putting yourself first, bro, is having certain goals for your life. Whether it be daily goals, whether it be weekly goals, goals that you want to achieve in a month or a year. You feel me? What's the long-term goal? What's the reason why you do what you do every day? You feel me? If you put that in your head and make that your goal, you can break down even more. Like, okay, what do I need to do today to get to that goal? You feel me? But once you're on your own, bro, once you start locking in on what you want to do and who you want to be as a person, bro, you have the chance and the opportunity to create your own everything, to create your own family, to create your own business, to create your own lifestyle, you feel me? What you have to do, though, is figure out what you need to do every day to become that person, to see that person, but you have to see that person first. You can't go and do things, you can't walk and do things blindly, you feel me? Because then you, you start to feel weary, you start to feel like you're missing something. But if you got a goal, if you aiming and you know what you're aiming for, you have a place and a target that you want to hit. But if you put a blindfold on, you feel me, and you got the bow, you're not going to know what you're aiming at. But if you see the target and you know, okay, this is where I want to go, then you know what you're aiming for. You feel a little bit more stable. You feel a little bit more controlled and determined to hit the target that you got your focus on. You feel me? So... You got to get to a point to where you see that for yourself. You got to get to a point to where you really prioritize working on yourself so you can allow yourself to be in a position to where everything is a lot easier instead of relying on other people. And then the people that rely on you, once they see certain things that you do, sometimes you got people that actually continue to take from it and don't change their mindset to try to get inspired by you. Those are people that I would be cautious with, but a lot of times, bro, you inspire people to want to do better and be better. You can help them be better, but also you got to do it for you. That's all they come down to, you feel me? You have to want to prioritize yourself. You have to want to get in shape. You have to want to have a better physique. You have to want to eat right or eat better. I'm not saying that I be locked in on my diet all the time, but when I want to lock in, I know I need to lock in because I have a goal and something that I'm aiming for. I know exactly what I need to do. You feel me? If I want to lose some body fat, I know I got to eat more protein, hop on a treadmill and do more cardio and different things like that. If I want to grow my finances, what do I need to do? I need to make more income, but I want to stop splurging. I want to stop spending the money on goofy stuff that don't matter. If I want to continue to grow mentally and spiritually, what do I need to do? I need to find out what I'm listening to. It's February, bro. I haven't listened to no secular music or music that's like not uplifting, you feel me? Um, so you got the control to control what enter your mouth. You got the control to control what enter your eyes and your ears, you feel me? But you have to remove yourself from those negative things. You have to remove yourself from things that don't fulfill you into becoming the other person that you want to be, the better version of yourself. You feel me?